Michelle and Shannon. Hello. Um, we haven't done one of these in a long time, so this is gonna be a little sketchy. It's been a rough summer, so. Um, I recently purchased from Paul Rubens this really beautiful set of paints. And then I wish that I had actually done an unboxing reveal for these because it is absolutely so beautiful. Um, you what they look like the the tin the way the pans are all set one inside of each other the colors these are a phosphorescent color so they every one of them has a tiny bit of sparkle this is the one i don't know if you can see it on the swatch that i did but the colors are absolutely beautiful and they've got unique colors like this christmas tree uh color is they're beautiful and I thought for like doing stonework and for waterfalls and stuff, these would be yeah. amazing. Well, the people from Lightwish who distributed this set actually got in touch with me and asked me how I liked them, how they were packaged and all of that. And um, I, I was blown away by how the, it was packaged and I was actually telling Shannon that I wish that we had saved it for a reveal. We didn't know they were gonna be so excellent. <laughs> Um, so the Lightwish people uh, appreciated that, so they sent me um, a set of Paul Rubens um, paints in a tube. And I thought that it would be really cool to open that together. So this is what the box looks like. Yep, it's Lulu. even sealed. We haven't even cracked it open yet. Yep, so I'm going to just open it up now. The Lightwish people were so kind to send me this. And I thought I'll do an unboxing for everybody with this. So we open it up. Oh, this box is really heavy. <laughs> wow. Very heavy. It's fancy too. Like I don't know if it picks up on the camera. It's got like a yeah, it's like embossed. Fancy print. Yeah. yeah. So um, they give you all of the colors that Paul Rubens currently has, and, the, and Paul Rubens paint is mm. unbelievable. I love Paul Rubens products across the board. <laughs> And then this is pretty. Oh, that's pretty. And these aren't very big tubes. They're the five milliliter tubes, but you don't really need a whole lot of watercolor when you're using it. It's not like oil paints where I go through a ton of oil <laughs> when I paint. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but so this is, um, they're very nice. It's in like this little um, fake velvet. Mm -hmm. Little case. Thing. Little case. It's very nice. So um i thought i have this paul rubens uh palette that oh. i haven't used yet and this is nice because this comes out as an extra painting surface huh so i've been saving this <laughs> like this on yeah it's really nice huh. so i've been saving this and i love these um the palette openings they're nice and big and the way i paint i'm not a delicate little painter in the little half pan so it's just a little <laughs> bit too small for me yeah that's why I don't paint out of pans a whole lot but these are beautiful and those Paul Rubens ones are gorgeous <laughs> so I thought that we would put some of this paint into here and we'll swatch it out and see what it looks like awesome I didn't know what that's what that's what that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is really nice and right now this palette is five percent off and I think it's like 18 bucks something like that so you can get it um they're limited supply, so I actually just grabbed another one in a different color for myself. <laughs> but um, I love it. I love the size. I love the wells. Gives you a little scraping tool. Oh, that's cool. Got room for a little um, paintbrush, or whatever. A little travel brush if you want. Yep. So yeah, I thought we'd uh, put some of these in here and see how Very it cool. works. Yeah. So we already got the paints in the pans. Yeah. Welcome back. I've already squirted a little dab of paint into each one of the yes. spots. And you can see how very little paint I use. I mean, I hardly used any paint at all going into here. So you use very little watercolor paint. And the paint that you do have in those pans right now, that'll last you quite a while too. Oh so. yeah. And normally what I would do is let this dry and harden like overnight mm. and then you don't have to worry about like um 
it not drying completely. Mixing together and using too much paint and stuff. Yeah, so, but we're gonna kind of zoom this along. So I put this all back together and we're gonna see what these paints look like. Now, Paul Rubens is, um, I like that they're mostly single pigment colors from what I saw. Maybe. Yeah, they're mostly pi single pigment colors. I think um, I counted them out to you one day, didn't I? Yeah. It was like 12 out of... Yeah, there's only like a few. So most of them are single pigment, which means you're not going to be apt to get mud when you mix the colors together. And it gives you a more vibrant color. So that's your permanent yellow. Uh, another thing about, and you need very little, especially when it's wet like this, you don't want to waste it. Um, another thing with Paul Rubens is they're very light fast. The light fast rating is great on these. So that's great when I do my uh, paintings. I don't want to have something that's not light fast and sell something to a customer, um, you know, that's going to fade over time. Oh, this Gamboge is gorgeous. <laughs> See how transparent these colors are? I think these will be great for um, doing glazes and layering because mm. this will go right over, you know, whatever you have underneath. That will go good with the uh, iridescent ones that you have. Yes. So you can do a base of this and then add some iridescents. These are actually very, very, and they're gorgeous colors. And the other thing I really liked about them was um, I don't have a lot of these colors. I, they're different colors than what I have in a, my other sets. The, these aren't normal colors that you would see, so I really like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that Quinn Rose. Dab out as much water as I can. I got a little too much water up there in the Gamboge, but <gasps> look at that red violet, permanent red violet. Oh, that's just beautiful. So these will work for like if you do uh, flower paintings, if mm, you like to do yeah. a lot of flowers, these, I can see these being just absolutely gorgeous, Ooh, like this in a petunia. <laughs> that's bright. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's the permanent blue violet. I always get uh, mixed up on where I am. <laughs> it's like, have I already done count. this one? <laughs> this is the ultramarine deep. That's a gorgeous color. But can you see how transparent these colors mm -hmm. are? Yeah. And I didn't get fancy with like the black marker to see how um, <laughs> I didn't do all that. Oops. I just want to see the colors. <laughs> oh, Prussian blue. Look at that color. That is beautiful. That would be gorgeous in some waters. Next one of your favorites. Payne's gray. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can already see the uh, granulation in that. Can you see it? A little bit, yeah. The other thing I really liked about this set was there was no white. So we're not taking up that, and that, you know, one space of paint for mm -hmm. white. Um, I've got a whole bowl of whites. So if I'm going to use a white, it's usually going to be like, um, a, uh, like the white gouache. Gouache, yeah. Mm -hmm. My words aren't doing so good today. <laughs> Ooh, I love that olive green. Look at that. That That's is cool. gorgeous. It's like olive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Coincidentally. <laughs> yeah. Here's thalo green. Ooh. Okay, so. Did I have the thalo blue anywhere? No, I guess I didn't. It's very similar to a Viridian, that mm -hmm. phthalo green. Don't get too much on here. This is light oxide of red. I can see that on that horse painting hmm. I want to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Yellow ochre, that's gorgeous. It's very similar to the Gamboge. The Gamboge is a little bit more um, 
yellow. Mm. Sepia. Oh, I love this color. That'd be great for like tree bark. Yeah. Um, some of your rocks. Ground yeah, grounds. And here's some ivory black, which I don't use a lot, but if it's, I think this ivory black actually is a single pigment. Let me look. stand out really well though yeah these are gorgeous mm -hmm. let's see on the bottom here it doesn't give you the mix on it all right so those are some really pretty colors that's awesome um and thank you for light wish for sending them to me free to review and to unbox um yeah, I can see that we're going to have a lot of fun yeah. using these. So, yep. So when you get your paints, if you use these, um, just put them in, put the them in a pan and let it dry overnight. And then, you know, see what you get. Yeah. Um, these currently, I just saw on Amazon, are 50% off. Oh, wow. So you can get this whole box that I have for like nine bucks oh my gosh yeah. so that's like super super cheap super great deal i would go for it if i mean yeah. they're beautiful paints i mean if you consider you're going to the if you go to a store and you just even want like a starter set you're going to be spending exactly maybe ten dollars and you're not going to get the quality that these yeah. Paul Rubens are that's yes yeah, so you're going to get professional paints you're going to get a whole slew of colors and you're yep. going to get them a really good price right now so I mean, even without the 50%, that's really... Yeah, but deal, right so. now I just saw that they're 50% off. Uh -huh. So, and this um, palette is also like 5% off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a great deal. I would Yay. I would go for it. So basically you spend $20, $30 and you get a whole lot of stuff to start about. Yeah, most of my Paul Rubens, I have other sets of Paul Rubens. Um, but they're like the phosphorescent one that I showed you that are in pans. Most mm -hmm. of mine are all in pans. Um, so this is the first... Um, messy. Messy, messy. You can see I use them. <laughs> You're having fun with it. <laughs> this, is the most, uh, this is the first tube paint that I've had from Paul Rubens. And I've heard that the tube paint is um, actually nicer even than the pans. And I oh. love the pans. So we will see. We'll try some artwork with it, and we'll get back with you on what it looks like. But thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah. And if you have any questions or, you know, just some recommendations or what, what you would like us to paint, just let us know, and we'll try to answer them for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for joining us today yeah. and watching us swatch out the paints that we're going to be putting to use. Yeah, well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Have a good afternoon. Bye.